world from the Chepe Times on your me from my name is MD90 and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on the bell notification to all so that you do not miss any upload that comes up. Right now I'm, I'm taking you guys around my, my country, Zambia. So I'm starting with the capital city, I'm in uh, Lusaka. So this is my second video in this series. I'm currently at the University of Zambia and that's what we're looking at today. So this is like the main entrance to the University of Zambia, where I stand currently. It's right next to the greatest road, the road that comes from uh, Kenneth Kaunda International Airport, which is like the major airport in, in Lusaka, uh, which is named after our first founder and father, uh, President Kenneth Kaunda. So right now, let me just give you a couple of information, some basics about the University of Zambia. The University of Zambia is the biggest university in Zambia based on the number of uh, programs that it offers, the number of students that it enrolls, and also it's the most highest rated uh, academic institution in, in, in Zambia. Uh, it's been, it's occupied that space for, for a while. I know a couple of friends uh, from other institutions might argue otherwise, but facts are facts right there. This is Googleable information. I don't know if Google, Googleable is the right word, but it's researchable information. You can still research the highest rated university in Zambia. So it's, it's occupied that space for a while. Uh, from a time I think uh, it's, it's been in existence. So I'm going to take you around the University of Zambia and I'm trying to make this video as short as possible because if I was to cover everything, all the stories and all the sites that we're going to see inside, it's going to be a very long video. So for this particular episode, we're just looking at uh, the various sites that are within the University of Zambia and I'll tell you a couple of stories around that. But if I was to go into details of every particular site that I show you, it's going to be a very long video, which I'm not trying to make it a long video. So I'm not trying to make it a long video. Come with me and uh, let me show you around the investment side. So once you drive into the University of Zambia or walk into the University of Zambia using the main entrance which I just showed you earlier on, the first thing that strikes your eyes is the uh, Goma Lakes on your left hand side and the, on, uh, the beautiful pitch on the right hand side. So the pitch on the right hand side is reserved by the School of Education, they want to build a new lecture theatre for, for that. And then on the left hand side these are two ponds, but they are called lakes, uh, it's pretty much, this is the first pond that you see and then there is another one. So usually if the, the water is good or the rain season is good or something like that, there's the water overflows over here. Uh, if you can see those rocks there, the water overflows from the first uh, pond to the next pond here. And uh, usually if you've seen around uh, any graduation photos, most people like to take pictures from around here because it's a beautiful scenery. Yeah, so let's keep on going. As, as I continue with this tour of the University of Zambia, so uh, then the first school that I brought you guys to is uh, what is called the School of Education. So uh, that's when it was established, as you can see on the screen. Uh, right now where I'm standing is what is referred to as the Mature Square. This is where um, students, uh, before lectures, sit around under the shade and then interact what's going on with the, with the classes and stuff like that. Pretty much it's a, it's a chill zone. For, for students. It, for, why it's called Mature Square is that the School of Education in particular it has the most or the highest number of mature students. By mature students I mean people old enough to be my dad and my mom. That's why uh, this particular location is called Mature Square because in as much as all the other schools around the university have mature students that are old enough to be my parents but the highest number of those uh, students are found within the School of Education. So this area where I'm at where I'm showing you is called Mature Square for that. So I'm still at the School of Education uh, and uh, what you see behind me is a school that was recently built for special needs uh, 
babies and children. Uh, so uh, as the teachers are trained within the School of Education, some of them get opportunities to interact with these babies uh, from this school, which was recently built. And then on, the, on my left hand side, this is where most of the printing for students is done. For example, if you have an assignment, they print from that location. Initially, they were all over the school, but uh, most of these were shut down because um, as you may know or may not know, uh, the University of Zambia has a mall within the premises now, uh, which, is called, uh, which is called East Park Mall. So a number of uh, small, small businesses that were operating, including banks, moved to that location. Some of them simply shut down. So where uh, the, the School of Education is, it's opposite a place called uh, Monk Square. Alright, this is where this episode of the Invest of Zambia comes to an end, ladies and gentlemen. Hey guys, welcome to MD90's channel. Thank you so much for clicking. If you're new, please subscribe. Hit that subscribe button down here. It's okay over here. Click this here. <laughs> uh, yeah, subscribe, leave a comment, let us know what you think, and share the video.